Let's open the Bible. John 21. John 21. Johanne 21. From verse 15 to 19. John 21, 15 to 19. Thank you, Jesus. I said what? From what? 15 to? 21. We'll read from verse what? 15. Verse 15. Are you there? Amen. So when they had denied, Jesus said, when they have dined, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than this? And he says unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. And he said unto him, Feed my lambs. Heba fedi cha ufiklula jeso abolela li Simon Petro Ari. Simon e morwa jona uya mtata ufiti shaba. Petro Ari e more na utiba ubani kia urata. Jeso Ari fudisha di kwanyana chaka. He says unto him the third time, Simon son of Jonah. And then he said, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus said unto him, feed my sheep. Abuela amuchisha labubedi are. Simone morwa jona au yantata. Petro are emure na utsiba gubane kia urata. Jeso are disha unkuchaka. 18. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, when thou was young, thou gathered thyself, and walkest with that thou wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hand, and another shall get thee, and carry thee with that thou wouldest not. Rore rore kia hubuja 18. Mola usalia muswa ube uite mama teka kanoshi. Waikela mo ube uu rata. Ito rege utufechi uto nita. Matoro agaro. Mi watengwa kie mungwe. Awisha mosa uratiru. This spake he signifying by what death he should glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he saith unto him, follow me. Re arielo ibe ili rumuswan checha li ru lie na petro. Ato urudisha mudimu kalona. Re aichalo are ntatele. Let's pray, Father. We thank you for your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Today, let's talk about uh, relationship. Because what, where we have read there, we found Jesus is asking relationship. If you say, do you love me? You are asking, are you sure? You are standing with me. Peter answered several times. Petro afetula hanchi. But when Jesus asked for the third time, Peter realized that this is serious. Petro He said, Lord, you know all things. Why Peter said, Lord, you know all things? Why Remember that Peter denied Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. He denied Jesus. And Jesus said, you are going to deny me. So here it was like Jesus was turning back the cassette also to cancel the past. But now when Jesus end up saying yes, I see that you love me. He said, he said, let me give you responsibility. There is no relationship without responsibility. If you can read there, you will realize that Jesus 
end up talking about the growth of Peter. He said, Peter, when you were small, when the wind comes, carries you. It means there was no relationship. But when relationship is strong, when you are old, you can do anything to keep up the relationship. That's why Jesus said, He was saying this, signifying how he will die. In other words, in other words Peter could lose his life for relationship. He doesn't want to lose relationship. Whether somebody can kill him for this relationship. He was ready. That's why my friend. There is a relationship. That you need to maintain. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus died for you. For a relationship. Many of us. We don't understand why relationship. We were far away. By his death, we were brought close. We were not his people. By his death, we are his people. We were in the darkness. But we have been transferred to the kingdom of God. Therefore, we can see him clear. Because we are in the kingdom of his light. Where there is light, there is no secret. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, where there is relationship, just read this verse, I will share, give you. Where there is a relationship, John 15, verse 15. John 15, 15. John 15, 15. John 15, verse 15. You are called friends. You are no longer called servants. Where there is a relationship, there is togetherness. You are called friends. No longer servants. Can I read that verse for you? Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servants knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father. I've made known unto you. Hakiri le batlanka, hoba ne motlanka ga tsebi se mongwa gagwe a se dirago. Le na kiri le bagwera ka o ba ne ke le bodishe tshotle tshe ke dikwile go katate. You are friends. Le na le bagwera. No secret. A o na makunutu. When God wants to do something, it does not happen per accident. A e dira le ka kotsi. He will tell you. O tla le botsa. Are you hearing that? Le antwa. If things just happen, and we thought being informed, our relationship is shaking. You know, I want to tell you more about relationship. I found that the more you build your relationship with Jesus, there is a harmony of that relationship. There's something that relationship produces that bring communication. Are you hearing me? You cannot make friends and whereas we don't talk together. Here, the Bible says, now that you are no longer my servant, because we are in relationship, so whatever I do, I make known to you. Therefore, it means there is no secret. If you are sick, you must know why you are sick. You have got a friend there. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. That's my friend. When you are blocked, you must know why you are blocked. There. Because there is a friend close to you. 
And the same Jesus, and I just saw you now. He said he will never leave you or forsake you. I will be with you until today. He's a friend forever. Friend when friends are gone. Friend when people are rejected. Friend when people are fighting you. He's your friend. He's on your side. And he will never leave you. And he will never forsake you. He's your friend. Tess was a hey. I have somebody you cannot see. When we have friends like Jesus, some friends can leave us. Some friends can leave us. Some friends can leave us. Some situation can go down. But that doesn't mean it's over. You remember? You remember girls? girls. With Elisha? Elisha. When they were together. When they were soldiers. In camping around them. You remember that time? And the Bible says, Elisha prayed. Elisha prayed. Because he said, 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 Elisha prayed. Because that we cannot see beyond our situation. And this is affecting our relationship. You tend to say, oh God, if you are around, you are supposed to have served us. You speak like Martha and Maria. If you were around, our brothers are supposed to be there. And you find that Jesus Will still say, Let's go. Our friend Lazarus is asleep. If you read there, in John, John, John 11, there, and you read there, verse 11, there, you will find Jesus say, Let's go. Our friend Lazarus is asleep. Our friend Lazarus is asleep. You know, the moment Jesus calls you a friend, you will say, Let's go. Our friend Lazarus is asleep. You know, the moment Jesus calls you a friend, you will say, Let's go. Our friend Lazarus is asleep. You know, the moment Jesus calls you a friend, you will say, Let's go. Jesus, call your friend. There is a miracle. You see now, people were saying, but look at how he cried. He loved him so much. Jesus cannot just love you for nothing. Let's go back to the case. Okay. If really your friendship does not bring forth communication, you are doomed. That's not friendship. There. If you have got a friend that you work with, <laughs> and you don't talk to them. In other words, somebody's not trusting another. Or oh, there might be a boundary <laughs> between two friends. <laughs> when this one is speaking, <laughs> that one cannot hear. <laughs> the problem we have today <laughs> is our relationship <laughs> is not strong with <laughs> the Lord. And this and it has affected, it affected our communication with him. We don't know now. We don't know what to do. Now. I was reading about Balaam. I found people that say he was a witch. He was not. Balaam was a prophet that speaks a word that happened. So the problem of Balaam is when Balak goes to him. And he says, the problem of Balaam is when Balak goes to him. Are you hearing me? So now, the Bible says, when, when Balak came there, he came with noble people and, and gifts. Eh? So now, that's where the communication was broken. Friendship diminished. Are you hearing me? Because the Bible says, Bible says, he was told by God don't go with them. But he just went there. Look what happened on the road. The donkey was climbing. Saw an angel. And therefore the donkey was able to communicate with the angel. But, but look at the prophet there. Many prophets today cannot hear listen. what is affecting the church today is hearing from God. We are talking too much we are hearing zero. The problem is our relationship. Amen. The moment I lay hands here and people fall down it means God is talking. No. No. 
It might be a dangerous mission. That's all my friends. The moment I lay hands and people are falling, that doesn't mean that God is talking. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? The moment you are blessed with what you desire, that doesn't mean that God is talking. Many of us now, we value God that he speaks because of what we have. We can still go with those things to have. If we establish our relationship, we will know the right blessing and the wrong blessing. We won't worry about material benefits. We will understand that any situation is for the glory of God. Are you hearing me? I'm feeling that I must establish my relationship. If Really, listen. If you want God to use you, don't cry for anointing. Establish a relationship. It's not what you do. When you pray or you fast, that brings anointing. It's the relationship you are creating. When you stay close to it, are you hearing me? You listen, you what do. You listen, you do. do. As you are carrying on, that relationship is established. I read the Bible, I found that Abraham established relationship. Abraham established relationship. Though it was like that, people were laughing. In the time of Noah. In the time of Abraham. God said, leave the people of your family. And listen, he did. Established relationship. Huh? Amen. Tell my friends. Are you establishing relationship? You can still come to church. And you ask God, God, God use me. And you find God is not using me. What about relationship? If you read the Bible for other people, you can still kill yourself because your relationship with him is not there. That's my friend. Today, look at your life and him. Forget about other people. If you want God to use you, to bless you, to lift you, check yourself and God, not yourself with people. Tell my friend, yourself with God. So when your relationship is stronger, God will send you somewhere. I love, uh, you know, I will read the scripture, I will tell you, but I love this man who went to Samaria. That man, he did spectaculous. Demons were screaming, shouting, shouting, but look what happened there. He knew that there are certain things that doesn't need him. Because if you do things that doesn't need you, you affect your relationship. If you do things that does not need you, you affect your relationship. Remember, relationship is based because of friendship. Hallelujah. Amen. So he said, no, 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 this I cannot do. So Though I'm seeing demons screaming, there are leaders at home. He called Peter, Abijah Petro, James, they Abijah Jacob, Abata. and they pray with people. They, they even found problems. Okay. Think about Nahana. that guy called Simon. If really this man tried to deal with the problem there. This Simon was supposed to have defeated him. There are certain things that need others. Be faithful on what you are hearing. Do what you are hearing. Because by doing that, oh, what you are God hearing, God you are establishing your relationship. Are you hearing that? Hallelujah.
Can you see what happened? After that, the Holy Spirit took him. He found a man reading, but he doesn't understand. We have got many people today who are busy with what they don't understand. Praying without understanding. Fasting without understanding. This man was reading the book of Isaiah, but he was not understanding. And the prophet was taken closer. That's what my friend. Today, a prophet has taken closer. Was taken closer. And from today, there will be victory upon your life. That relationship will be revived. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Christianity is not based on stories. Christianity is based on what? A relationship. I remember a long time ago. I used to see some people reading because they are going to preach. Fasting because they will be preaching when we We need Christians who establish their Christianity whether they have got a task or not. They maintain that level. Whether you are sick or not, you maintain that level. I want to maintain my level. Look at this verse. If you read verse 13 there, you in John 15 there, can you read it aloud in your Bible? It says, Kaoya Naoli Lerato, Lily Fiti Shao, Layo Ahafaubu Pilo, Jarawe, Kabaka, Lava, Rabahawe. I see the verse. Levana Vet. Okay, fourteen. Fourteen. Lena Leba, Rabaka, Heli Dira, Cheki, Lai Chukuchona, as verses. Butcholin Haufi. Do you think what you are doing is what you have been commanded? Ask somebody again. Do you think what you are doing is what you have been commanded? Usually, many of us we don't even know. Are you hearing me? We don't even what? Are you We are just Christians because we are coming to church. No, we are just Christians. And our relationship is based on what we want. The day we get what we want is Jesus. We are going to talk about it. Jesus has done it. You know what Jesus has done? I was telling some people that don't just come and stand here. And talk what you are not sure. Are you hearing me? Because sometimes you find that the job you are getting is becoming a temptation to you. Did you hear that the job you are searching is the right one? Have you found yourself getting a job after three months you are crying about it? Yeah. So therefore, any blessing can be a curse to you. We need to hear, but our hearing is based on our friendship with Him. Our relationship must be established. Are you hearing me? That's why, my friend. There are things that come to steal your relationship. Number one, temptations. Just write it down. Temptations are there to steal. When you see this, you say, Oh, why? You pray, oh, Why are we watching this? Sometimes you pray because you are facing this. So when you are no longer facing so this, prayer is useless. Temptations can also drive us out where God wants us to be. Because when you are sick now, your prayer will be directed on that sickness. Financial crisis, on that line of finance. There is no day where you will fast to thank God. There is nobody who can start. You know what? I'm really fasting. What kind of fasting? 
I want to fast for my salvation. Thank God for my salvation. Usually when you fast, I want to change this. But I want to see this. Therefore, temptation can even direct your prayer and direct you on what to pray. Whereas the Bible says, pray without ceasing. Number two, people you love most, write it down. People you love most, they can be used. Are you hearing me? Amen. To affect your relationship. Because you need to listen to them. You cannot just take decisions you want to hear from them. And what about God? Now the family is saying there's a gathering. We want to worship those idols. If we won't be there, it means you are cut off from the family. So you decided to go to that family. Why? Because you want to be part of that. You say I won't eat there. But as long as you are there, you are part of there. We are Christians. Whether people love you or not, you hear from God. Are so you hear from God? Tell some friends. Today, God will speak with you. Tell some friends. Today, God will speak with you. Tell some friends. Today, God will speak with you. Tell some God will speak with you. Tell some friends. Today, God will speak with you. Tell some friends. Today, God will speak with you. God will speak with you. Tell some God will speak with you. Tell some friends. Today, God will speak with you. Tell some God will speak with you. Tell some God will speak with you. Tell some God will speak with you. 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 God will speak with which God you are, you, you are not even hearing him talking. You see, you hear God. Uh, follow God. Which God? I'm a Christian. What kind of Christian is that? Who does not have communication yes, with the one you are following? The reason is you are having people you listen and you want to please them. But if you tell yourself, now I'm here, I must fast. I must fast three days. They call you and say, hey, come and cook. You go and cook for them. Eh? Uh. You give them. Hey, why is like a rocket? All the food that I'm Are you hearing me? You know, hearing from God, people can even divert you. Parents can even divert you from not hearing him. Because devils speak louder. When you are close to breakthrough, that's why I'm very close to you. Hey, devils speak louder. When you are close to breakthrough, can you tell the person again? Devils speak louder. When you are close to breakthrough, so, People will come, you love. People you cherish, they will come and say, Why are you doing this? Are you stupid? Don't, Don't stop the fast. Don't do that. Don't, Don't go, go there. there. But tell yourself, I'm doing this because I've got a relationship with Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, when you are related to him, things will begin to happen. I say things will begin to happen. Listen, listen. There were times me and Mama, people were having in the church. They decided not to tithe. They sit down the church, they sit down the church, no support, no do it. And then, you know, I spoke with Mama. So, I said, Mama, we'll do our own stupid way. Whatever we have. So, we we'll cook for children. We we'll cook for children. We we'll cook for children. cook for children. And by the time of eating, we'll go and sit on our own table. And we'll put another chair there. For the one who represents. The Holy Spirit was there. Are you hearing me? We sit there. The Holy Spirit was there. We sit there, Mama is there, Mama was empty. Eh? And there, there, there was a chair there. No, the the Holy Holy Spirit. Spirit. This, if you do it, people will mock you. How did you look over to a town where are you? Lantua, the small food, the church, the dinner, the children, the children, the children, we sit there, Radula Fasi, we hold hands, Rasora Mazo, Father, we thank you for Papa Lewa Dijote, we are about to eat, Rajere Lakhaufilu Dija, we thank you for the Raul Lewa Kadijote, we sit there, Radula Namo, 
They say, hey, no, we are Cana. We have eaten. Uh, Rishile. How do you feel, my man? Uh, okay. Okay, I'm okay. Okay, no, thank you. The Holy Spirit, you saw that. This is the food you have given Can us. Can I tell you? The Holy Spirit, you will never say. Why these people are doing this? Why Holy Spirit will say. These people, they know I'm around. Though they cannot see me. Me. They know I'm around to bring this food. That to sit down and say, I don't know what I will eat. I don't know. Listen. Stop grumbling. You are not alone. Yes, I am. Stop. Stop grumbling. You are not alone. If you ask my daughter, with Bishop, there was no car. No the was was no car. So we began to believe in cars. Always we hear something like a truck. But my daughter and bishop. Out they say, hey, hey, there's a truck coming. Our car. 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 Our when they reach there, they find a truck passing. But that one has been a good one. Let's carry useless car. We thought it's the one that is there's coming. There's another one that is coming. If you can see, how can you see? Because of relationship beyond your situation, you will stop worrying and begin to trust the living God. And the living God will never leave you for second. Your friends are leaving you. Thank God. Your family is talking. Thank God. They can speak what they are saying. But you need to stand up and say, Hey, I have somebody. And the one who creates heaven and earth. I'm not alone. 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 I'm not Thank God you were having a problem. Thank God for that problem. You know, sometimes when somebody clap you, Thank God. you run to God. Sometimes you run to God. You run to God. Sometimes you have got a pain. Oh, but why? That pain is telling you. Are you sure? You are related to Jesus. Do you love me more than than pain? Do you love me more than food? Do you love me more than a car? Do you love me more than a house? There are some people, if the horse collapses, they will divorce. But a divorce. Because they won't even understand that divorce is a written that is not, is ab, uh, is ab, ab, abomination in the word of God. But when something wrong happens, divorce. Tell my friend, today, whether it's tough or not, I will establish my relationship. When you are carrying on, how can I establish your relationship? You know what you are saying. What has happened doesn't touch you. What is coming is fit for you. When you are thinking in time of crisis, you are saying this crisis is useless. What is coming is above this crisis. When you are thinking God, when you are sick, you are saying this sickness doesn't hurt you. The healing is coming that will manifest in your body. Are you hearing me? Shake somebody and say, hey, I'm not afraid. So sometimes you face what you're facing. You say, yeah, I'm dead. I am dying. Yeah, I'm going. You will never die. You will never die. I will never die. Say that pain. The pain you will never kill me. You must go to that point. Whereby you establish relationship. Jesus died. Jesus I mean, he was scorched. He had some things here. The body was not recognized. But he rose 
from the dead. The same spirit that was in Jesus is in me. It will revitalize my body. If I look weak and strong, that's a hey. When you look weak and strong, can you hear what I'm telling you? Now? When somebody divorces you, very good. Congratulations. The person is telling you, I was not fit for you. And God will give you the best. When you get something like that, people are laughing at very you. Very good. You must not divert from relationships. Stand there. And I said, they are laughing me. Because they are about to see what my God is about to do. Listen. Stop worrying anymore. See what God can do. Are you seeing it? If you are seeing it, you will rejoice because what you are seeing is coming to you. In the name of Jesus. 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 Establish your relationship. There are times whereby have you ever found yourself you don't have a cent. You are hungry. And you don't know who's going to help you. And you find that you don't know that his eyes are on the faith. So when it, this thing is happening, it's like everything around you is laughing at you. But God is watching. He's speaking. He said, this one. I trust. This one will do what is right. This one will prove Satan wrong. Are you hearing me? Remember Job. Today. Today. God will give you with double. He will give you double. I say he will give you double. Can I prophesy? This year. This year, this month of July, you will shine your shine. You will shine your shine. I say you will shine your shine. Think about when you overtake your enemy. Overtake your family. They are talking because God allowed it. But God is about to change their topic. Establish that friendship. Establish it. Whatever your face is asking you. Establish it. You can look poor, look weak, look out, but tell yourself, I will never leave Jesus. I will never leave what? I will leave what? I will leave Satan and follow Jesus. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Amen.